Right, so we assume you've finished the project and you're about to walk away from it, but you can't walk away immediately uh, because you have to tend it, especially if it's lime project. And the reason is the, that uh, lime plaster is a, is a Goldilocks material. It doesn't like to be too hot and it doesn't like to be too cold and it doesn't like to be too wet and it doesn't like to be too dry and it doesn't like to have too much breeze and it, but it likes a little bit of air, air movement. So you have to sort of try and recreate the perfect conditions as well as you can. So let's think about the various things that are needed. First of all, warmth. Now, if it's if it's um, baking hot summer's day and you're south facing, you're going to have to keep the sun off of it. And that's when this magic material, the hessian, comes in place. It's got like little gaps in it. So it lets some air flow in, but it keeps the sun off of it. And it keeps the sun off of you while you're working as well. And otherwise, if it's too cold, it might protect you from frost as well, or protect the parchment from frost, um, which you don't want to be doing it in frost. But anyhow, the other re things, if you're indoors, you can add heat with a fan heater, or if there's no background heating. So that's a useful thing to have as well. So that's heat. Um, airflow, indoors, yes, even if the weather's warm, um, use a fan. You can have a fan heater on cold, but you need some airflow indoors. Out, outside, airflow isn't really a problem. So that's heat and that's um, airflow. And the other thing you need is moisture. And that's where this one comes into play, the pressure sprayer. And although these ones are a bit dependent on what situation you're in, you're always going to need the spray. Um, as you're working, it will dry up. And if it dries up a bit too much, you can spray it down and leave it for 10 minutes and then work it some more. But after you finish, you're likely to have to come back. You should allow really to spray it twice a day for two days and then once a day for the rest for another three days, perhaps. You might not need to do it so much, but allow for that. Um, and when you're spraying, what happens is the plaster will change colour. As, 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 you, as the water goes into it, it goes darker. And if it goes darker and you stop spraying and it goes, suddenly goes lighter again, you haven't put enough on. But if it goes darker and it stays dark for 10 seconds, then that's enough for now. Because you don't want to put too much on because you'll start washing the parjet away, which is, is going to the other extreme. Something I didn't mention is with the hessian. Um, because your parjet is sort of, sort of three-dimensional, you really don't want to let the hessian flap onto the parchet, it will damage it. So as well as hanging it in front of the parchet, you want to hold it away from the parchet as well. So sort of tie it down in some way, especially if it's windy. 